Fuck, I did. All right. God damn it. <laughs> Brunch. Hit it, boys. Oh, boy. All right. Uh, it's very we, funny that we started the episode like this, because uh, if you listen to last week's episode, you heard DJ talking about how this week's episode was going to be better because uh, we were recording early in the morning. We're recording back to back episodes. This is our second. DJ was promising that this one would be better because he's more caffeinated, more awake, ready to go. Uh, we, we tried to start doing this episode and DJ forgot to press the record I button. didn't. I must have just hit it twice. OK. Yeah, we, we did notice that um, the button was green, and you yeah. said that that, w- that meant that it was recording. Uh, I, I was skeptical. No, I was looking at it, and you were like, is it not recording? And I was like, no, it is. It's fine. And then I was just kept looking at it, and I was like, it's really not recording. It's not recording. Uh, so we only lost about like five minutes, but we were talking about we want to start normalizing uh, kissing the boys. Yeah, well, that's where we'd gotten. We first started talking about uh, how you could follow, find us all on social media. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot we lost like, then a pretty good discussion there. How I, uh, god damn it, and then how uh, Pete has no good content on his Instagram. It's <laughs> really paraphrasing. And how all he does is post on TikTok and nobody follows him. <laughs> this is and not true. I want more Instagram followers. I should probably also try to get TikTok followers, but I would have to. Uh, actually water that plant so to speak all i care is that you follow me on instagram because i if i if, once you get to 10,000 then you start it it just does it's better a, it's a different you. instagram uh once you get to 10,000 followers on instagram uh it doesn't give you like every notification anymore yeah it really sorts them into like hey this is somebody who you probably care about and then like really pushes everybody off to the side everybody so else he was saying nice. he's grown his audience by uh just posting uh clips of him doing uh hits for work which is not i've i've definitely posted clips from uh work on my instagram but i more of like a highlights guy like mm-hmm. if there's a good rant or if there's a funny moment or something but the you were saying to volume shoot. You just post everything. Yeah, I mean, I no, I don't post everything. Like, I only post the stuff that I think, uh, like, I'm good in or, like, it, I or think provides value. Yeah. yeah, so, like, I don't post everything. But, uh, like, about six months ago, I was at a real crossroads with my Instagram where I was like, this shit is not growing. I don't know how to, how to make it grow. Like, I'm not posting very often because – Honestly, I don't go outside very often, Uh, like maybe get pictures taken of me like once or twice a month. And that's really not enough to grow on Instagram. And I don't want to be like taking pictures of myself or do like doing poor quality pictures or whatever. So I just started posting work shit to, to be more of a volume shooter. And it helped help me grow. Like I, I, I realized that I'm probably being annoying on Instagram. And I realized that like a lot of the people that follow me don't care to see my work stuff every day or like twice, three times a week, but I don't care. It's a yeah, what, I, I, I <laughs> yeah. mean, yeah, don't feel bad. Most about, people don't care about your shit on Instagram anyway. Yeah. I mean, every, everything is just kind of, uh, kindling at this point. It's self-indulgent. El- Instagram is the most self, self-indulgent, indulgent social media. That's why I'm so, uh, I'm so liberal with that, uh, like button. Mm-hmm. We've discussed this. If I scroll, I can't scroll past you posting a picture of yourself and, and not being like, like I it. don't care about this. Yeah, not, not that I think like anyone's going to be like, all right, who liked it and who didn't. Yeah. Although unfortunately, people do that exists, uh, yeah. Do that. I don't know. It just it's it's one like. What could it cost? Ten dollars. <laughs> That's right. It's easy enough to to do. But yeah, whatever. I'm gonna. You do have to become more of a volume shooter. Yeah, but it's. I mean, I'm such a fucking weirdo in that uh, I'm like I, but I don't want to put something out there. That has no substance. When in reality, if uh, it's the internet, man. <laughs> yeah, and also like uh, things that entertain me don't have substance for uh, a lot of people. So, yeah. like, even if I put out put something out there, like for example, like I felt good about that straw tutorial. <laughs> yeah, so that was great. Re- yeah, that literally is nothing. Like that served no purpose right. in the world. 
So like I'm holding out to every, every idea has got to be as good <laughs> yeah. as a fucking straw every, tutorial. Every idea that I have has to have as much value as the straw tutorial. It, it has to be. I mean, I could just do tutorials for everything. Uh, yeah, you could. They're just very simple things and getting them constantly wrong. I think that's a good bit. That's not wrong. Oh, I nailed it. The straw? Yeah. You, I mean, you eventually got it to work. What are you talking about? I fucking crushed it. Mm, yeah, you're right. I mean, the numbers, speak, I numbers opened don't it lie. And I put it in the, the cup. I couldn't have done that better. Oh, I don't say like the insertion. Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah. Slammed just, it just, against the thing like nine times. Yeah. Well, I mean, it wasn't the cleanest <laughs> landing. Got it. It still still counts. It's true. You did land the plane. Still counts. That's right. Doesn't doesn't matter. Got it in there. You did send me something, though, the other day of uh, yeah. a kid who like did the, the did did like the exact same like jabbing the straw type of deal. And I was like, I couldn't help but think of you. A little phallic, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Could there? Yeah. A little uh, phallic. You were saying that uh, you uh, finally started watching Mad Men. <laughs> I did not. Ah, fuck. You were talking about how good Andor was, though. I was. Oh man! Finally got that this was guy in on the. the uh, train. We we didn't get it in the. Uh, I I didn't press record enough times. Yeah, I know. You were saying that. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say you're saying that you're really getting into like the work of, and I could name any celebrity right now who has chunked it, but I won't do that to you. I mean, there's one. Uh, there's one, and I would be mad if you suggested. <laughs> Maddie Healy. <laughs> no, well, I would, no, I'm always down to be on Maddie Healy's side. <laughs> Maddie Healy posted a really, a, a really weird like infographic uh, that was like how to like combat anti-Semitism, and it just like slowly devolved into a mattress <laughs> commercial <laughs> or something. And I'm like, I I, I hate like the that one like anti-Semitism is so like in vogue right now because like actual celebrities are being psychotic that like. Having to tell people like, hey, don't be a psycho is now something that can even be parodied. Yeah, I, I did see Matt Healy post a meme, I believe yesterday, that was like, stop gaslighting yourself. Yes, that was <laughs> it great. was just like reverse gaslighting. It was like, it was like, uh, uh, I need to be better to, uh, like, I, I have to be better. And then, like, the, correct way to say it was she's, she's crazy, crazy. <laughs> yeah it's so good uh who do you think a fun exercise is like who do you think would be the most dangerous celebrity to like put yourself in their corner for is, life yeah like to or, totally or, align with not like not to totally align with but like a celebrity that is not problematic right now yeah or has no problematic Lock history into? locking into like committing to them like endorse uh, like an endorsement of this person now that you have to stand by oh man that's so that's an interesting one because there's so many people who like have had like problematic sprayed on them for no good reason yeah like Odell Beckham Jr. like famously has never done anything wrong. Well, I'm sure he has, but like not in no, like but a, like, like it has like, never like never actually been, been a like bad canceled. guy. Yeah, yeah. but uh, it was like, ooh, he really got fed up playing with fucking Eli Manning, <laughs> yeah. which like I would be sick of playing with Eli Manning. Uh, so there was like, like the whole poop thing for like a, a hot minute. What but was the like, poop thing? Maybe that he, so. li that he likes being pooped on, but like that's not. If that's, it's by consenting adults, and, right? That's like a that's like kink, and if that's your thing, not for me. But like, it's not worth being canceled over. Let me think of like somebody who hasn't been canceled, but could one day. I feel bad because now we're like giving somebody uh, bad uh, juju. Yeah, but it's uh, it's it's like the same in the same vein of like a death pool. <laughs> I mean, I could see Chalamet. Being like, wow, that's an interesting. I need one. everyone to stop loving me, so he kind of sabotages himself. Oh, like the old Miley Cyrus. Like oh, Miley yeah. Cyrus was sick of being like the Disney girl and like really yeah. steered into the other direction. Um, Logan Miller. <laughs> I still don't know who Logan. I make Miller Logan is. Miller all of my uh, like every time I need to name a celebrity, it's gonna <laughs> yeah. be Logan Miller. You know who Logan Miller is? I do, but I don't. Who is he? Who is he? 
He's in Escape Room. He's oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's yeah. that guy. <laughs> yeah, okay. He's like not quite like approaching like the Lucas Hedges or Ty Sheridan. Not but even like, close. But like he's like the guy who's in stuff. He needs a new name, man. Like Logan Miller is. It is a tough. It is but, like Logan uh, gets you on track for like something, and then Miller's like, "Well, this could be anybody." Yeah, it's very vague, <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> it's almost like an algorithm. Yeah. <laughs> And he like he also kind of looks like an algorithm, <laughs> right? I like that guy though. He is the most bland. I came across his Instagram. He smokes cigarettes. Ooh, hell yeah! Yeah, he uh, dates um, Rachel Sennett. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Another so, one of those people that like you've really got on board with recently. Yeah, I mean, I know. I, I think like n- no offense, not necessarily Logan Miller. We'll see what happens. But like Rachel Sennett is just so clearly like the future. Yeah. So if you're not on board now, she you, went, do you think that, um, sorry, I, I don't know. Do you this have, episode's already so much better than yeah. the last one. The, the lost one or the last one? No, lost one was awesome. The, la- the lost one was very good. You're We're talking, talking about, about kissing your, guys. You're talking about how your TikTok gets no bitches. The, my TikTok does not get any bitches. Uh, i been posting on TikTok work stuff as well. Uh, and like have like 400, five, 500 followers. Don't follow me on TikTok until I've, Dave Bean. until I've earned your business. Instagram, I'm going to, I truly am over the next, let's say like maybe January. Uh, my uh, like auxiliary content will be uh, ramping back up, be it uh, Instagram or YouTube. I won't make any promises with TikTok that uh, that, that dude, my mouth can't catch. Dude, if you're doing Instagram reels, post them on TikTok. Oh, that's what. Yeah, they, so I've done that sometimes. Like do that all the time. Let me. If see. you're doing Instagram reels, post them on TikTok. Let me. Okay, but I'm gonna. So famously, the Blink 182 tick uh, reel is my Cal Ripken column. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So. Did you post that on TikTok? I think maybe I did. You're uh, an idiot if you didn't do that. All right. Uh, yeah, so I posted it on TikTok, and it's got half the yeah. The like it, it's not always gonna. Get, I love I love doing like views and just calling impressions the bitches. is bitches. Yeah, yeah. I like that. We're gonna stick with that. Yeah. Um, I. It's not always gonna catch the same, but like. Your social gets no bitches. Your social gets no bitches. I've had a I've had a back and forth relationship with that word as a noun over the years, but I think in that setting, it's actually it's, it's safe. Very not only like safe. I just think like it's funny. Yes, um, it's not always going to catch. Like sometimes I would guess that something will catch on on Instagram and not TikTok, and then the opposite. Like it'll catch oh, yeah. on TikTok but not Instagram. That's true. I mean, the my first You're doubling your chances and it's not hurting you either way. My first TikTok uh got like 50,000 uh things bitches out of the gate. Right. So that's I, but I still don't know how the numbers loved, are supposed to got work. Got so much love from the Baltimore Orioles. Oh my god, Baltimore Orioles were simping <laughs> on that D. <laughs> Baltimore Orioles my main TikTok B. <laughs> The B stands for uh, baseball. Wait, do the uh, Orioles have a hat that has a B on it? No. Damn. They have a hat that has an O on it. What's my guy's name? Uh, he's a very funny comedian and good social media uh, personality from um, Hacks. Joe, is it Joe Nandy? Is that his name? Joe Mandy. Joe Mandy. Yeah. So he came up with like the... He would uh, sew on hats during the pandemic, and that is just such that that is such a not million dollar idea, but that's like a million bitches idea. Yeah, like people will eat that up. So like, I would love to get like a Baltimore Orioles hat. Like he would basically like, Photoshop hats IRL. Yes, I love that. It's so good. Um, Let's see, Baltimore Orioles hat. Because what if? They were just like a Baltimore Orioles hat. Oh, no, right, because it says O on it. It's oh, got they, an O. It, they have a hat that says, like, it's the O's. There is the, yeah, the, there is a uh, super old hat that they wore that was just, it's the most boring hat in the world. It just says B on it, like this. 
Uh, yeah, that like, hat stinks. That one? Yeah. Like, people wouldn't even know it's an Orioles hat. No, like, if you that, got that, that would be like stitched, a Boston like, hat. <laughs> yeah. You uh, can't do that one. Also, shout out the only in Boston uh, Twitter account. Last week, it tweeted out that uh, Goodwill Hunting came out like 22 years ago or something. And it said all this stuff, and it didn't say anything about Boston, which is just of the course. most beautiful thing in of the course. world. It's like, th- this is like your one chance yeah, to say right. something has something to do with Boston, and you treat it like uh, today is uh, Michael K. Williams' birthday. <laughs> it's the best. What, that what death hit... Uh, that death must have hit the Only in Boston account so hard. Yeah, because the Only in Boston account only tweets about The Office and The Wire. That account loves the wire <laughs> so wishes so the wire took place in boston so bad hey get on the brunch patreon it's yeah, patreon.com slash listen to brunch it can uh, help fund cool content such as youtube stuff get us to throw stuff at spike to let uh to make our things look good i gotta shout out a uh, brunt touchable uh named um what is her name uh her name is kita Mm-hmm. Do we know this person? Mm-hmm. I'm just kidding. She's like the oldest Bruntouchable, one of them. But uh, she tweeted, my son got me so sick, I feel like a shell of myself. It really do be your own. No, is that the tweet? Oh, no. It was uh, telling, it was a reply to it. Telling everyone at the office you're sick as fuck so you don't have to make small talk. And that's the, uh, she did the, that's greater than everything else. We're going to run down some of the best ways to get people to not talk to you because we famously once had Katie Noll on the podcast and discussed uh, how to talk to a woman who's wearing headphones. Headphones. It's a classic episode. It's an awesome episode. Very good. We're going to go back and listen to it and just be like, oh, it was deeply problematic. No, no, it's it's a great episode. We, we called them women or something <laughs> like that. Uh the, famously, what, the best way of, to get people to not talk to you is to not leave your house. I've really mastered that one. Ooh, I didn't even think about that. All right. Just kind of like lock it down. Yeah. Not know people. That's another good one. No one talks to you on uh, on TikTok because you get no bitches <laughs> oh, on there. You. God damn it. Be Pete's TikTok. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Famously, my TikTok inbox is fucking dry. Oh my no god! Bitches. You like, you have to do. Uh, I've been sending emails to TikTok for weeks, just being like, "Yo, this DM, this, this DM feature does not work because ain't nobody sending me anything." They're like, "Oh no, somebody has to send you one to unlock it." Until then, you have to do like the two-step authentication thing. It's rough. Pete's TikTok gets nothing. No bitches. No, oh my god. I'm gonna follow your TikTok, which I don't even think I follow anybody on TikTok. Just comment, comment on, on all of them, like no bitches, crickets. <laughs> <laughs> Some people do like the 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 uh, the Patriots crybabies will quote tweet like things I post with like y- nothing. <laughs> <laughs> they won't even be like yikes. They'll just be like nothing, nothing going on here. Nobody laughed at this. Um. The best part about this conversation, by the way, yeah, is that like, so you've got a couple TikToks that really popped off. Yeah. Oh no, I I am non-existent on TikTok. Oh yeah, you have way, you you have less than half the followers that I yeah do. yeah. But I'm not trying TikTok. <laughs> not, a, not to be that guy. You, no, no, you're you're right, and it's embarrassing. Like, I, I'm not you lamenting have, my TikTok situation. You so, are. Yeah, I wish it was better. Yeah. Um, I feel that like I deserve. Not, like I here's the thing though here's like really what's embarrassing mm-hmm. uh you've got like less than half the followers but you got more likes um you have eleven thousand likes uh i have no like pound for pound i get more bitches than you on TikTok. yeah yeah you do yeah correct so then the smart thing should be for me to try on tiktok but you no, don't instagram it's a weird it's a weird situation because i have a i have more consistency with like with like numbers but you have uh a higher ceiling all right so i'm in california right now as you're hearing this probably and what i should have done is tease this last week but we didn't think of it till now maybe i'll say hey uh follow me on tiktok i'm gonna be doing all sorts of tiktoking on california in california and i'm gonna be like 
Hey, everybody, here in and out Burger, gonna try the, the animal style fries. Blah. And then, like, <laughs> bitches. <laughs> Where the bitches at? Comment, like, hey, it's me, the bitches. Uh, I'm here for this content. Hell yes. And again, bitches just means any so, like, Anybody sort who of social your content. impression. I don't even think it's a person. Like, a like is a bitch. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah, any sort of engagement is is getting a bitch. Does it like like a bitch? You get <laughs> that? No. Does he look like a bitch? Still don't get it. Samuel L. Jackson. From what? Pulp Fiction. Oh, I've never seen it. Really? No, I've seen Pulp Fiction. <laughs> I have. That's the... I've seen all of the Tarantinos except for... Um, what's the, the uh, brown one? Jackie Brown? Jackie Brown. I haven't seen Jackie Brown. Ooh, Jackie Brown. I should watch Jackie a, Brown pretty soon. Jackie Brown's a good one. That that has a uh, that has a death that doesn't sit right with me. That has like a uh, it's not quite a NPC death, but it's just like a they just get rid of somebody who doesn't need to be gotten rid of. And I'm like, uh, guess what? That person had a life ahead of them. Mm -hmm. Nice one, fucking. De Niro. Really NPC empath over here. Um, all right. Other ways to get people to not talk to you. So say you're sick. Mm -hmm. That's a classic. Shout out Kita. Unfortunately, had to learn that one the hard way. You know what? One I really love, and I don't know if this is problematic, but... Uh, Let's find out. <laughs> uh, sometimes I feel like my Uber drivers do the I'm deaf thing so that you don't talk to them. Mm, big Seinfeld energy. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, I forgot that Seinfeld originated that. But yeah, there is uh, Uber does the thing where it's like, hey, your driver is, is hearing impaired or like. Oh, or, OK. And it's like so like if they don't talk to you, sometimes I feel like they're doing that so that you, they don't have to talk to you. I think it's a really healthy thing when you encounter somebody who claims to uh, have a serious ailment immediately make it about yourself. Yeah. And you That's... accuse them of, of being and then problematic. They, they think, what does this have to do with me? <laughs> And exactly. why don't they want to why talk Why don't you me? like me? <laughs> and then you say, why don't you like me? And then they, very likely a deaf person, mm -hmm. say, I can't hear you. And you think, mm -hmm. why are they making this so? Yeah, this, that you know, that doesn't sound problematic doesn't to sound, me at all. Yeah, and to make it even more problem, even less problematic, I like to test them. And so I just yell things in the backseat. <laughs> I'm hating every second of this. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, so say you're sick, have <laughs> headphones in. That's an easy one. I mean, yeah. I used to do that at work all the time. Not to be rude to people, but just like if I didn't want to talk, I would have headphones in, not have anything playing. They're just going to stay out of your way. Mm -hmm. uh, this one's goaded, man. Uh, say you're moving to Yemen. <laughs> I got to give <laughs> yeah, credit where I it's due. That, one. Uh, that was actually Chandler Bing came up with that mm -hmm. one. Did not want to talk to Janice. So he said he was moving to Yemen. Uh, she then took him to the airport, push came to shove, and he said, you know what? Guess Fuck I'm it. going to Yemen. I'm, I guess I'm going to Yemen. <laughs> Flew to Yemen because <laughs> he would rather go to Yemen than speak to Janice. Mm -hmm. Which, in that exact situation, I'm not, do like, I'm not doing that for Janice. I would date Janice. I, I would marry date Janice. Yeah. I mean... Janice, I'm going to be as PG as possible here. Chandler could out, use a little out Janice. Kicked, out in kicked a, his coverage with Janice. Chandler is very, you've heard me say this a few times, he is very, very, very average, which there's no nothing wrong with being average. He is like, he is your everyday buble. He could use a little... Janice in his life. Janice is going to help round him out a little bit. Teach him a thing or two. Mm -hmm. But at some point, you don't want to talk to Janice anymore, so you got to say you're moving to Yemen. Yeah, and ultimately... it's Am hard, I right, player? Hard to say that he made the wrong decision because in the end, he ended Monica. up with Courtney Cox. Yeah. So Did you see that the thing that, Monica, that uh, Ch Courtney Cox was doing, by the way? She uh, was at the Universal Studios or whatever thing, the uh, lot, and people were doing tours, and... She crouched behind the uh, friend's couch and when and then had someone take their picture and they said, okay, three, two, one. And on one, 
she got up and like photobombed it and then crouched back down. So when the photographer was like, hey, uh, did it come out right? They saw that she was in it. And then they turned around and she was there. And that was, I give that a 8.5 out of 10 because it would be such a 10 out of 10 if she just walked away after. Yeah, like, yeah, that would be so funny. It would fuck with them for the rest of their lives. It's like I was in the presence of Courtney Cox, have a picture with Courtney Cox, but never actually met Courtney Cox. And, like, with technology nowadays, I can't be positive she was actually there. <laughs> right, yeah. This may have been a Like filter. an instant Photoshop. Another way to uh, not talk to people, die. Ooh. That's kind of, that's a, it's related to uh, be sick. Uh, pretend you're mad. That's kind of a George Costanzo one where mm -hmm. he pretends uh he is frustrated all day at work oh and that right. way they think that he's he the hardest busy. worker yeah. he's busy and they don't want to bother him this one's kind of sad but sadder than dying uh depends appear to need something someone's not going to want to talk to you if like you like do like the kind of like raised eyebrows thing like walk they're just not going to want to talk to you i don't know that's a that's a gamble because there are the people that, that are, nice. are are nice and would want to help you and really those are the kind of kinds of people that it's impossible to get out of conversations with because they are so helpful and friendly that's true you are really setting yourself up for the exact yeah, opposite of what you are trying to accomplish there you're playing with fire uh, the, the the people that would ignore you in that situation are the people that don't want to talk to you. Ah, uh, right, right, right. Um, make yourself unappealing or embarrassing. For example, Larry David didn't want to talk to Phil Rosenthal, so he donned a MAGA hat and wore it everywhere he went, like, for kind of a while. That is the best. I've never, I mean, definitely not to the degree of, like, a MAGA hat thing, but, like, I'm trying to think of how I've made myself unappealing other than like the obvious of just like being yourself uh, thing. But like, have you ever intentionally been like, I, I guess like young uh, dating stuff could be like the just like try to be less interesting so they don't want to be around you anymore. Yeah. But other than that, I can't. Yeah, that's of, about like, the only situation where I was like, I'm going to be boring so that this person gets bored. Yeah. Or like not be funny but yeah. then like you then, then they'll throw out like a oh you're funny and you're like how why do you think that <laughs> that's the, the uh dark and disturbed yes yeah dark and disturbed from dark seinfeld. and disturbed man seinfeld way ahead of all these trends yeah let's see how did uh, the best part about seinfeld is that it was like a pot it was like a reverse engineered podcast it was uh they would podcast and then they would just turn it into a tv show yeah did we ever discuss doing that? Now like, everybody makes TV shows and then does a podcast about it. Did we, I think we either discussed that or that was like a, a something that died in my uh, notes app. But just like making like a pilot episode based off of like any of our podcasts. No, I don't think so. It would have to be something where like we talked about shit that happened to us or something. So it would be like... Uh, Famously, uh, that didn't work for John Mulaney, who did like a pilot based off of like his entire stand up special that got him popular. And he made like the same jokes in the pilot. And I was like, what the fuck? Man, people, I who, people who are interested in John Mulaney at this point have already seen these jokes and know these jokes. Why are you rehashing them for TV? Yeah, I tried to. I mean, I tried to ride for that show. It just wasn't good. But so many other things that John Mulaney has done uh, have been have been good. Um Let's see what's give me a not to put you on the spot do you have any ways to get people to not want to talk to you um uh get a get offended at everything oh if have you, like a take on everything yeah or like a here's why yeah what That's you need bad. to do is like commit for like a week to being the worst person to talk to who either gets like offended at every little thing that somebody says or like has a strong take on everything that somebody says. And so that like other people start avoiding talking to you. OK, so I'm realizing actually a lot of these things are things that I have consciously tried to do less of like that, <laughs> that I, I, I already do. Like I always have headphones on. So really the headphones. true answer here is like, if you don't want people to talk to you, be just be <laughs> as much like me as you could possibly be. And then people won't want to talk to you. 
Hey everybody, Pete here. Sorry for the interruption, but I've got an idea. Um, DJ texted me this week saying that he's having the best time in California, and I'm not jealous at all. Uh, he's having the best time, and he also said that he barely remembers whatever we recorded on this week's episode, which is a great opportunity for you to just tweet at him, wow, can't believe you said that, or uh, wow, I'm offended at what you said on this week's brunch. And don't give any details. Just tweet that at him, comment it at him, and just pretend to be a little bit upset with him. And I think it'll give him a little bit of a heart attack. It'll be a nice little prank. And he at least kind of deserves it after chunking the beginning of this episode. So uh, go do that, please. Thank you. Love you. Bye. That's a, that's a tough way to get to that conclusion. <laughs> no, but, but I mean, it, in reality, I am somehow a person that people want to like talk to or want uh i mean i do a fucking shit. podcast with you so yeah how'd you get there dummy <laughs> yeah this is a tough a lot of mistakes in my life but it, it could just be like a, hey i want your thoughts on this because i just want as many thoughts as possible and you're probably going to have one that these other people <laughs> just have not said <laughs> yeah. yeah i need to i i gotta get from all over the uh the old spurk drum uh did you see avatar yet I have not seen Avatar yet. When does Avatar come out? Is will it be out by the time this? Uh, I would assume drops? that it comes out. Um, it came out last Friday, from when this ah. episode is airing, because uh, the buzz has started. The buzz is crazy around Avatar: Way of the Water, and let me tell you, I could not be more distraught that this movie is good. I am so dreading seeing this because it's going to be nominated for stuff, so I'm going to have to see it. And to give it a fair shake, I'm going to have to watch the first one again. The worst movie experience I've ever had was watching the first Avatar. It was in college. They showed it outside at this like big field thing on a huge screen, and my allergies were horrible, <laughs> and I just didn't want to fucking be there. And was it, was, it like a class assignment? No, it was like... Uh, you didn't want to be there, but you volunteered to be there? You fucking, I, I was young and stupid enough that I did things with friends, and like that's what my friends were doing. Mm. And I was like, twenty minutes in the movie, I was like, this whole experience is not for me. I want out. And, and then I there were only leave. four hours more. And of I it. was, oh my god, I was just like writhing around the whole time. It was horrible. I mean, there are layers to my disappointment about uh, Avatar two r r allegedly being good. Number one is that. Uh, I guess I guess number one is that I've really grown to dislike James Cameron. <laughs> Love that. I think Jim Cameron is a gigantic prick. Love that. Uh, really dislike him. Really dislike how arrogant he is. I know that he's very successful. I know that he's one of the most accomplished and distinguished directors of all time. Save your fucking spiel. I get it. But you know who's like not the worst all the time? is like almost every other director. Which oh, I was going to say, not many other directors. I, I think that like the the there is a lot of ego that's attached to being a director, especially like a very successful director. But I mean, there's more self-awareness. Jane Campion, and, like, Quentin Tarantino, they're, you, they're but, all just really but, just like soft, just, just no, straight but they, lace but down like, the middle. But they're not like trying to poke and prod people. Jane Campion isn't? I think just think that she's like ignorant. <laughs> yeah. Like she wasn't trying to derail the campaign for whatever that fucking movie was. I hate that movie so much. Yeah. She's still I mean she was just like she was trying to say the right things, but was just tripping all over herself. And, and I'm I, also a team uh campion for the uh dust up with uh was it Sam Elliott? Sam Elliott. <laughs> Where Sam Elliott Holy was God. like this movie's gay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, yes, it is. Uh, Cowboys aren't gay. They can be. Uh, no, uh, no. Cowboys like, rock, especially when they're gay. Right. You ever seen Brokeback Mountain? Awesome movie. Um, Fucking, is his name Jack Twist? Yeah. Oof. Um Tarantino is just like fucking unhinged, which is you love him for better or for worse because of his how unhinged he is. Yeah. Um, no, Jim Cameron is like. My shit don't stink, blah, blah, blah. You're going to see this movie. You know what? Pee whenever you want because you're going to see it twice. And they really wanted me to make this movie less than four hours. And I told them to go fuck yourself. I'm James Cameron. He is the current celebrity that seems most like what uh, Miles Teller was purported to be in that GQ article. That and he seems most like... Uh, 
Elon Musk without ever getting the shit that Elon Musk gets. So obviously, Elon Musk uh, wields more power and can do more damage, but just like vibes wise <laughs> and energy wise, all time bad just vibes. Like a like a disruptor where he could also be a shut the fuck upper. Like you cannot get through a single meal with James Cameron without him mentioning like how great something he did was. And I like that actually. Like, I do I, not. Fuck that guy. Oh, I mean, like, I'm, I'm cool with being proud of your stuff and like being proud of like the great work you've done. But the late that Kanye guy West, is the new Brandon Flowers. He cannot stop sucking his own. Oh dick. yeah. But I was gonna say like I respect like that like the late Kanye West uh, back in the day or uh, more recently um, like Tyler the Creator. Brandon Flowers to a degree, but even like Brandon Flowers has really kind of eased off it because now he's trying to be more of like a Bruce Springsteen. Mm -hmm. So he's like, oh, wait, shit. Got to pivot to humble. Likeable? This yeah. is tough. <laughs> <laughs> he really did go. He had more ground to cover than anybody <laughs> in the world. Like, that is such a tough pivot. <laughs> to be uh, like, I'm going to make songs about America. And it's like, uh, boy, you're, all of your songs basically before then have been like, mumbled because your own dick was in your mouth <laughs> yeah man no james cameron i really hate that guy uh another reason why uh, um I'm, I'm not excited about avatar being significant haven't seen the first one still have not seen the first wow. one so not only do i have to see the new avatar i have to see the fucking original that's like nine hours of uh research or quote-unquote work that i have to do when i don't want to like the movie I've told you, uh, my uh, dear pal, uh, Ted Johnson, formerly of uh, the Super Bowl. You know Ted Johnson from the Super Bowl? Uh, yeah. He Several. loves Avatar more than any. Like, if he were here right now and we were like, hey, Ted, do you want to talk Avatar? He would be, he would like need a minute. He, I, I, Avatar truly like makes him emotional. That's he crazy. is so moved by Avatar that like that's where like that's where like I I can't push Avatar totally out of my life because like, it means a lot to a lot of people. Yeah, it does. and like I just trust that so much that it can move people that much that I'm like in it's, college. It's kind of like the national. In college, I uh, my professor spent like an hour or two, a couple couple classes, I think. Discussing like the uh, the cultural impact of Avatar and like how obsessed a subsection of people got mm. about Avatar. Man, seems like Ted Johnson in that fold. So the, I mean, I know that they were re-showing it in theaters, but I don't think that there's any way of seeing the old one. That's the thing. Like, am I gonna have like a a blown away Avatar experience from fucking watching on my fucking portable DVD player? Like. Fucking Dawson taking the bus to uh, Cape Side. <laughs> fucking uh, dumbass Dawson. I was going to say, I'm sure you can find it streaming somewhere, but Jim Cameron's probably so much of a dick that he's not allowing that movie to be streamed. 